Hi, I'm David. And I'm Samantha. In fall of last year, we were expecting our first child due in May. But on February 1st, they started feeling intense labor pains and we rushed off to the hospital. At 26 weeks and five days, they tried everything to keep the babe in me, but um, nothing was working and we got maybe five minutes notice that they were rushing me off for an emergency C-section. He was transferred to Levine's. He was two pounds, seven ounces. He was uh, intubated, placed in an incubator. Um, they had to check for heart murmurs, cranial bleeds, and after all of that was cleared up, eight days later, we got to hold him. I got to hold him for the very first time. And then I didn't get a chance to hold him until three weeks later because of traveling for work. One of the things that he had to work through are these events called bradycardias, which is where the heart slows down. Uh, he had caffeine to help him through those spells, but every time I would hold him, he would get super comfortable smelling me and feeling my heartbeat like when he was inside, and he would get so comfortable that he would go into his own Brady spell, and all of a sudden this wiggly little baby would get really still, the alarms started going off, uh, nurses had to come and we had to help remind his heart to keep beating, don't slow down and get that comfortable. We would, I mean, he was in the NICU. It was a really scary time. You never knew if you were gonna get a call when you were at home that something had happened and you needed to rush to the hospital. So one day we were next to his bedside and it was God who was just speaking to us right there, he said that Jeremiah 29 11, for I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you, not to harm you. So after Theo learned how to breathe on his own and maintain his temperature, the next thing was how to suck, swallow, and breathe on his own at the same time, which is how to take a bottle. As he accomplished these tasks and we were nearing his take home date, we texted small group, family, all for prayer support on when would be Theo's time to come home and that it would be God's timing. We spent a weekend with him and three hours before we were supposed to take him home from the hospital, he had a Brady in the middle of his sleep, which meant that he needed to spend another seven days in the hospital. And it was God's sign that not yet, not yet his time to come home. So after spending 100 days in the hospital, we were finally able to take Theo home on a heart monitor. As I was driving home with Theo and Samantha in the back seat, it just felt unreal. The feelings I could not even describe. When we finally arrived home, we were greeted at the door with a bucket of KFC and our small group ready to help us bring everything in, love on us, and celebrate on finally getting Theo home. Since bringing him home, life has been amazing. Not a lot of sleep, but a lot of giggles and a lot of awesome experiences with Theo. We have multiple therapists. Uh, we have multiple doctors we work with. Thankfully, my mom is staying with him during the week so we can keep him away from germs that he's just not ready to fight yet. And honestly, he's the best miracle we've ever witnessed up close.